Naumba vitu vyote mbingu na duniani Una staili sifa Wewe ni mku, ewe mungu Wewe ni mku, ewe bwana Wewe ni wakuinuliwa Tunasema bwana ukajitukuze Tukuka, jioni hii ya leo ukatukuke Jioni hii ya leo ukaonekane katikati ya watu wako Jioni hii ya leo ni nanasi katika neno lako Jioni hii ya leo ukatudumie Hakuna kama wewe Hakuna wakulinganishwa na wewe Hakuna wakufananishwa na wewe Tunaomba ukatama laki Ukatama laki katika ibada hii Ukatama laki yewe bwana Tunasema sante Jina lako na risifiwe Mana tunaomba yote Kwa jina lako takatifu Na tuseme amen Piga makofi ukisema amen 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 Mungu wa kubariki Bado naomba tafadhali tusonge mbele usikai nyuma Especially those who are Uko nyuma sana mabakbenchers Njoni mbele Amen Njoni mbele ndiyo ukisonga mbele ndiyo uketi Usikai nyuma Ukikai nyuma utaribu video Okay, can you move to a ribu video? Yeah, please, you can have your seats. May the Lord bless you. Thank you. Wash pass, Mbariki Wesan. Amen. Leo ni siku ya ne. Tangu mtumishu wabana anze kudumu hapa. Ijapokuwa ni siku ya pili ya ibaada ya jioni. Wale ambaye mlikuwa hapa jana Mnafahamu kweli uwepo wa mungu likuwa hapa Na kwamba mungu alinena nasi Na leo pia nikona imani Nafahamu kwamba mungu watanena nasi Mwana sifiwe Kwa hivyo jiandae Jiandae Tarisha Moyo wako Aposto bala yuko hapa Hamekua nasi ikiwa ni kipindi ya pili katika mikutano za hapa kanisani Na tunajua badu watarudi wakati mengine, sindivyo Tueke mikono pamoja, tumkaribisho mtumisho wa mungu Aweze kuja na kutupa maandalio ya siku ya leo katika jina la esu Amen, thank you, welcome Amen. Can we appreciate our Father one more time again? Come on. Church, you can do better. You can do better. Appreciate the grace of the man of God. In the name of Jesus, I wish somebody heed to the instruction this afternoon. I say appreciate the grace of your Father. Appreciate the grace of your Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Can we appreciate our mom also in Jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name amen and amen can we appreciate reverend uh, njagi is in the house in jesus mighty name amen and amen we have pastor calvin also in the house together with mama can we appreciate them in jesus mighty name Amen. Uh, our sofa, our Ebo sofa, <laughs> Mwangi, can we also appreciate him? <laughs> amen and amen. The Lord was uh, ministering to me this afternoon, and I don't know how we'll go about it, but I was feeling in my heart when I was praying this afternoon, the Lord did put in my heart a very special word for the leadership, for the leadership of this commission. And uh, I was feeling uh, reverent will advise us, wisdom will uh, prevail, how we can uh, also get some few moments uh, with the leadership of this commission so that uh, I put on what the Lord is uh, uh, put across, what the Lord has deposited in my heart, uh, what God wants to do through and by the leadership in Jesus' name. Can somebody say amen? One more time, allow me 
to uh, say thank you for the leadership of the church and through our father uh, seeing it wise uh, for me to be here this time in Nairobi and also uh, in Ruiru speaking to us and uh, just be a blessing to the church in Ruiru and the people of this community and Ruiru Nairobi at large. I uh, realize that we are not just speaking to uh, the sitting congregation here but we are uh, speaking to the to the entire globe can we appreciate our online viewers in jesus name in jesus name we appreciate you and i know god is going to do you good as you follow may the lord also minister to you in jesus mighty name we continue where we left it in the morning or in the lunch hour uh, for them that are coming for the first time we are talking about the power of altars the power of altars and uh, we've gone a bit far uh, we've gone a bit far we've handled the types of altars that affect our lives and one of them we mentioned is family altars we talked about marital altars we've also mentioned uh, uh, health altars and then uh, uh, we were dealing yesterday night we were dealing with the tribal altars educational altars uh, this morning or this afternoon we were dealing with atmospheric altar that is number six atmospheric uh, altars uh, the bahu ya maineo uh, the bible speaks of a, a very one of the major prophets by the name of daniel and the bible says that daniel set his heart to pray uh, for 21 days he was dealing with something that was so important in his time because the lord had declared and the lord has spoken about the years that uh, israel will be in captivity and uh, uh, when daniel realized that uh, they are going beyond the set time beyond the time that the lord had said uh, so after searching the books the bible says uh, that he set his heart to pray and uh, uh, to pray for deliverance and to plead with god uh, to hasten their salvation uh, to hasten their deliverance and the bible records uh, when that was when daniel began to pray the first day ambayo alianza kuomba his answer was released uh, from heaven and an angel was sent with a message to him but the king of Persia, territorial powers atmospheric altar hold the prayer for 21 days until when god saw ya kwamba he itakuwa ngumu the bible says ya kwamba angel michael was sent uh, to come and fight uh, the king of Persia so that he may allow angel Gabriel to bring the message to to the man of God Daniel now that shows you that many a times uh, our answer are uh, the answer that we need our answers to prayer that we are praying uh, the petitions uh, that we are we are making has already been released uh, but the atmospheric altars uh, is holding the answer, is holding the miracle, is holding up here whatever that we are expecting, whatever that we need. And that is why I said in the lunch hour today that uh, you can't succeed in a place uh, if you don't deal with a stronghold uh, of that place and uh, we are saying to nasema duhuri ya leo any atmospheric power any stronghold ambayo inatawala maeneo ambayo unaishi na mahali ambapo uko itapave way na itaachilia and i decree in this evening revival ya kwamba chochote ambacho kimezuia majibu yako katika anga jioni ya leo iachilie majibu yako i say jioni ya leo iachilie majibu yako can i hear you shout a better amen number seven is uh, poverty altar or financial altar madabahu ya umasikini madabahu ya umasikini and ladies and gentlemen kama kuna kitu ambayo mimi ninachukia na maisha yangu ni madhabahu ya umasikini kwa sababu masikini inatesa watu umasikini imegandamiza watu umasikini imefanya pote 
potentials ambazo ni za maana hazijamanifest but i want to believe god in this evening revival tonight we are going to deal with poverty altar and financial altar zile ambazo zinazuilia utajiri wetu the bible records that uh, he jesus christ was made poor so that we may be rich I'm not talking to somebody here. Na umasikini inaweza kufanya mtu badala kuishi maisha bora anaishi bora maisha. Bora maisha. Badala kuvaa mavazi bora anavaa bora mavazi. Badala kukula chakula bora anakula bora chakula. Umasikini? Geukia mtu mwambie umasikini ni mbaya. <laughs> Maskini. Maskini inaweza fanya mtu mweupe akue mweusi. Aya. Na by the way si unajua kuna Reverend Jage, kuna kuna weusi aina mbili. Na imeandikwa kwa Bible. Weusi aina ngapi? Mbili. Si unazijua? <laughs> Two types of blackness. Nisome hiyo maandiko. Song of Solomon chapter 1. <laughs> Kuonyesha ina mbili ya weusi. Ina mbili ya weusi. Uliza mwenzako iwe usi yako ni gani? Ina mbili ya weusi. Song of Solomon chapter 1. Aha, uh -huh. give me verses 5. Verses 5. Verses 5. I am dark but lovely sasa hii ni level ya kwanza <laughs> in, uh, do we can we get it in king james king james king james translation king james yes this is beautiful i am black <laughs> but comely yani mimi ni mweusi kiswahili nasema lakini napendeza Napendeza. Sasa hiyo ni level ya kwanza ya weusi ambayo wazungu walituambia black is beauty kama yango. Black but comely. Nipe verse 6. Verse 6. Level ya pili ya weusi ni hii. Sasa huyu jamaa anagombana. Hii <laughs> ni magombano anasema look not upon me because i am black usiniangalie kwa sababu mimi ni mweusi kiswahili narudia inasema mweusi mweusi alafu inasema ni jua ndio imeniunguza jua ndio imenichoma sasa kuna weusi ambaye inakuja na jua na hiyo ni weusi wa umaskini uliza mwenzako hiyo usi yako ni gani yako ni gani maana kuna weusi wa umaskini wa umaskini wa umaskini umaskini naweza fanya leo bado kuna mtu anaomba maombi kama hii Mungu siku ile utanisaidia nipande tu gari yoyote ambayo hata kama ni mashi nifike Mombasa niogere ile maji ya chumbi Mungu nitakuinua hapa kuna mtu atajawahi kanyaga Mombasa. Ah, geukia mtu mwambie umaskini ni mbaya. Maskini inaweza poverty inaweza fanya. Do you know Miles Munro in one of his, of his book, May his soul rest in peace, he said that the richest place on the planet earth is the cemetery the cemetery the cemetery why because at the cemetery there are visions that were buried and realized at the cemetery there are dreams that were buried and fulfilled there are people here that have great vision and dreams
but because of poverty ah sikuna makampuni baada ambazo azijazaliwa hapa na ziko tu hapa makampuni zimelala kwa vichwa za watu zingine zimeandikwa kwa makaratasi lakini umasikini inafanya zoezi manifest ah that shall not be your portion a pity you are a man i said that shall not be your portion kuna wakati umaskini ilinitesa na robi maskini ilinitesa na robi hii ile mbaya ile mbaya maskini mpaka wakati ambapo nimeokoka i think that brother will be here tomorrow hopefully the man that led me to christ Alieniongoza kwa Kristo. He'll be joining us tomorrow in the lunch hour. Am I talking to somebody here? Kijama kibonge utamuona siku hizi amepunguza kidogo maana anaenda gym. But alikuwa kijama kibonge, kirefu. Sasa umaskini nanifanya wakati nimeokoka ninaenda kumuomba nguo. Alafu ninavaa. Ushawaivaa nguo badala wende uvae nguo ni nguo inakuvaa. Hello. Unfortunately, sasa huyu jamaa wakati mmoja ah, ambia jirani yako maskini ni mbaya wakati tu ambapo tumeokoka akaniambia bala lazima ujifundishe maombi akanisaidia kuingia kwa maombi ya kufunga sasa one time this guy akaniambia enda deal na umaskini ya kwenu maana akiniangalia anaona potential lakini umasikini inanimaliza nikaingia Karura kaingia Karura wakati huo sijui kama bado inaruhusiwa watu kwenda kuomba Karura by then tulikuwa tunaenda kuomba na unajua wale watu wameomba Karura unaweza kumbuka ndani ya Karura kule ndani kulikuwa na kamuto alafu kulikuwa na mali kulikuwa na fall kuna fall. Sasa kuna wakati nilikuwa asubuhi ninaenda ninasimama kwa hiyo maji, kwa hiyo mto maji inanifika hapa na ile inanimwagikia. Na ikimwagika nani baridi saa tisa asubuhi. Ninasimama na niliambiwa wakati ambapo nilienda exile baada ya kuokoka nikakimbia mashambani kwetu. Nikafundishwa ya kwamba kuna mapepo hayasikii Kiswahili na kuna mapepo hayasikii Kizungu. Yanasikia tu lugha ya mama. Sasa nikiwa nasimama kwa hiyo fall nilikuwa naziongelesha ile mapepo ya kwetu ya umaskini. Ninaanza. Adagi. Na ninaimba kwa ya peke yangu. Adagi. Adagi, adagi uchunje magojo kwa kwaro magmithiero magithiero machana. Yaani nilikuwa na manisa hivi. Nimewakataa. Ninasema nimewakataa. <laughs> Alafu ninaanza kuhesabu yani maro za zile jinsi ambavyo madhabahu ya umaskini umetutesha sasa ninaanza na jina ya babu yangu ninaanza na jina ya baba ninaenda ya babu ninaenda ya great grandfather alafu ninaenda ule aliza great grandfather alafu ninasema nimewakataa na ninarudia nimewakataa nikatoka huko nikiwa maskini kuliko venye nilikuwa am i talking to somebody here nikatoka huko nikiwa maskini kuliko venye nilikuwa nikagundua kumbe maombi aitoagi umaskini okay i know i'm beating your your theology of prayer it is good to pray and i do pray i do pray i do pray this year alone since january till now i've done 21 days prayer and fasting three times three times i pray but do you know Happy okay happy will be here tomorrow. Happy akakuja akaniambia mtu wa Mungu na unajua anaongea polepole. Sema mtu wa God. Shida yako baada ya kuomba ni kwamba sasa uelewi maombi na sehemu yake. Lakini nilienda ku deal na roho ya umaskini nilipotoka Karura nimeisha masikini akaniita maskini. Umaifika hiyo level. Unajua kuna levels za umaskini. Level mbili ya umaskini ya kwanza ni umaskini unaokidhiri. 
maskini lakini imekidhiri alafu kuna my god ninatangaza leo juu ya kichwa chako may god endowed you with riches listen to you amen i say may god envelop you with wealth mpendwa utajiri ni mzuri ah hello yeah unaishi vizuri unalala vizuri unakula vizuri unajua kuna mapepo haitaji maombi inahitaji tu kukuza pesa ah i'm not talking to somebody here one time i used to and uh, nilikuwa nimezoea kwenda kinyozi kinyozi ya shilingi 50 shilingi 50 just so one time my friend uh, Solomon mkubwa visited Nakuru akaniambia uh, alikuwa anapita akaniambia apostle ambia mama pike chapati venye anapikaga chapati tamu alafu akalala kesho yake akaniambia nipeleke kinyozi nikampeleka kinyozi ya 50 akaniambia come on man this is not your level <laughs> kaniambia tutafute kinyozi tukatafuta kinyozi tukapata sasa nimejijasa ni mimi nataka kulipa bill sasa tulipoingia kinyosi and that is when i realized eh, kuna kinyosi na kinyosi <laughs> tukaingia na solomon mkubwa kinyosi haya tulipoingia tukakaa kambiwa ya kwamba wacha huyu amaliziwe ndio wewe uingie tukaulizwa mtakunywa juice ama mtakunywa kahawa ah tena tumekuja hoteli lakini ni kunyolewa akatolewa viatu maana ni ameenda kunyoa viatu yake ikachukuliwa ikapigwa rangi maana jaka kuja akasema hata pasta mpigie rangi so na ni kinyozi si of shushaina na tulipomaliza kila kitu akafanyiwa kila kitu kwenda kulipa ni invoice inapeanwa na sio pesa kubwa kalipa shilingi 1700 service ile tumetumia hapo and then i realized kumbe ndio maana sura ya hii jamaa inakuaga mdogo kila mahakira wakati maana wakati nilimwona mara ya kwanza 19 it should be 1999 nilimwona kwa tv akiimba mfalme wa amani na mpaka leo hajabadilika kumbe ngeuke ah. jirani mwambie utajiri ni poa Kuna watu unadhania ni wazee na sio wazee ni umasikini imewazoesha. Yaani mtu anaishi miaka ile hajaishi. Sura inamfanya umasikini nafanya sura yako inageuka ya mzee. Kuna umfu ina <laughs> Geukea mtu mwambie umasikini ni mbaya. Si hapa kuna watu wanastahili wao wamejenga manyumba zao. Lakini bado wanaishi kwa nyumba za kukodisha. Ah, nipatie mstari uone venye madhabahu ya umaskini inatesa watu. Na ifai Ecclesiastes chapter 6. Ecclesiastes chapter 6. Chapter 6. <laughs> ah, ah, leo tuta deal na roho ya umaskini. <laughs> Okay sasa hii nipatie na NIV NIV taitoa mzuri Ecclesiastes 6 6 mstari wa 3 verses 3 Look at this Inua sauti sema nina kataa umaskini Maskini nafanya watu wanapeleka watoto shule ambazo hazifai Unajua ah, oh my god hakuna mtu mjinga lakini kuna ina ya shule ukipeleka mtoto wako anaoingizwa na sio kupenda <laughs> sasa angalia hii a man may have a hundred children and live many years Yet no matter how long he lives no matter now that brings you to this eh? that life is not about how long you live is about how well you live no matter how long he lives if he cannot enjoy his prosperity 
And when you die, hii maisha umeishi ya mateso ya kuteseka alafu ukikufa bila nasema does not receive proper burial i say mimba iliyotoka ni afadhali kuliko wewe <laughs> afadhali mama asemage nilishika mimba ikatoka kuliko kuzaa mtu anaishi miaka mingi lakini ni ya mateso duniani mateso ana furaha kwa maisha kuna watu sura zao ukiangalia zimekunjamana sio kwa sababu amekwazwa ni roho tu ya umaskini imemfinya na mtu maskini ukimwambia mambo ya matoleo anasikia kukwazika Alo Sasa ukiishi miaka mingi do you know I looked at this verse and I changed my prayer and I say yes I will live long but I will live long life with the satisfaction Long life with the satisfaction Ya kwamba nikitaka kukula nyama ninakula wakati ninataka <laughs> Unajua ninaishi karibu nyumba yangu ndiyo iko mwisho alafu fence ni nakuru national eh uh, national game park sasa sasa zingine mimi sihitaji kulipa pesa niende kuona wanyama sihitaji ninapandaka tu kaju kadogo kwa kabalkoni alafu ninaangalia game park ninaanza kuona wanyama polepole na kuna ma season aina mnyama fulani ninajua inapitaka season fulani so nitaiona tu Tayona. But kuna kitu niligundua simba inua sauti sema simba <laughs> simba inakula nyama kila siku tena red meat na hakuna siku tumeambiwa simba imeumia kwa sababu ya kukula red meat <laughs> ah <laughs> umasikini Inaweza fanya ukitaka kukula kuku. Najua hiyo sio huku ni huko Lilongwe Malawi. Lilongwe Malawi. Mtu akitaka kukula kuku anaenda anaenda kununua virenje. Unajua virenje? wakati niliishi korogosho aposto umaskini ilinifanya nikitaka kukula samaki kulikuwa na samaki pale korogosho ilikuwa inaitwa mbuta alafu hiyo samaki mgongo wazi imetolewa nyama yote sasa kenye imebaki nikamfupa na kichwa peke yake ah inua sauti sema ninakataa umaskini maskini wapendwa ukiwa na mali hata do you know we need to deal with poverty mentality and we need to chase it away because god has made us rich and any altar that is fighting us to become rich we need to fight it tonight and we need to reclaim our wealth in the lord in the name of jesus you need to drive the best car in this earth I'm not talking to somebody here. Before you rest with your fathers, you need to live the best life ever and enjoy your life. Put on the best clothes. Hello. Sio bora mavazi. Unaweza ingia boutique usikiwe kama ule ndugu niliingiza boutique wakati mmoja. Nikaingia na e boutique. Nikamwambia chagua suti ambayo unahitaji. Wakachagua. Na unajua wengi tunajuaga suti ni longi na koti na suti ni longi koti ni tai na kama kuna three piece unaweka na hii alafu unaweka viatu na socks alafu unaweka saa na unaweka hii nimeweka hapa alafu unaweka handkerchief hiyo ndiyo inaitwa suti full suit <laughs> alo sasa nikamwambia jamaa chagua suti moja mzuri akachagua kachagua 
Alafu sasa zile ninaenda kulipa suti ilikuja 18 ilikuwa 17500 nikatoa pesa naenda kulipa kijana wa mtu akapiga nduru ndani ya duka akasema guy aposto hiyo ni suti nane pale nje kwa waria Umasikini Am I talking to somebody here? Masikigeukiwa mtu mwambie na kataa umasikini. Mwangalie mwambie lazima mimi na wewe tutajirike. Ah! Maisha ya umasikini. Hapa kuna watu leo wanastahili kuwa waajiri lakini madhabahu ya umasikini ambayo inawagandamiza inafanya yeye leo ndio mwajiriwa ninakungoa kwa madhabahu ya umasikini ninatanga mm, may the lord begin to raise you up hello mtu akiwa na roho ya umasikini chochote anaweka mikono yake kufanya akiendelee Unaanza biashara inaanguka. Ukianza kitu inapotea. Yaani wewe unajua hata kijana akiwa na roho ya umaskini, madhabahu ya umaskini inamfuata. Hata chukue msichana mrembo ule wazazi wake wametengeneza, akimguza kidogo, hata pimples zinaanza kutokea. Unaanza kuona sura inabadilika. Weka mikono yako mbele hivi. Yote miwili. Sema mikono yangu, mikono yangu. Kuanzia leo hamutanipea hasara mutanipea utajiri na faida apur am i talking to somebody here ninakutangazia from today may the lord establish the work of your hands chochote unashika kinaendelea Hello. I was seeing a clip uh, the other day ya ya jamaa ambaye ame ameingia hoteli na nadhani ni ile hizi mikutano saa zingine tunaitwa. Unajua maskini nafanyaga watu eh ukiwa hapa hakuna mkutano ambaye unakosa nakosa. So barua ikiletwa na ujue ya kwamba kuna mkutano imetangazwa kwa ile kanisa ingine na bora waandike kwa hiyo barua lunch will be provided hiyo ni mkutano ambayo haukosi sasa huyu jamaa akaingia hoteli and ilikuwa ni ni buffet sasa amejaza sahani mpaka inamwagika lakini akienda kuchukua soda kitu ilinishangaza that, that, that clip is circulating eh akienda kuchukua soda na inaimbwa inaimbwa wimbo wameweka wameweka hii ya, ya nini hii ya huyu mtu mnasema baba lero lero ni lero sasa hiyo ninaimba anachukua soda anaweka anachukua ingine anaweka soda hapa anaweka ingine hapa anachukua soda ingine anaweka hapa alafu anashika zingine mbili na sahani pia ameshikilia hivi umaskini ni mbaya Hello Do you know unaweza fika mahali mami ukiingia salon hauangali bei unafanyiwa manicure unafanyiwa pedicure unafanyiwa facial yani wanakushughulikia alafu una labda siku hiyo unasema sitaki full massage fanya half wanakufanyia alafu unauliza bili yangu ni ngapi unaambiwa ni 1300 na unalipa pole pole bila kustuka au pigi kelele tigai hiyo yote Leo kuna mtu atakombolewa. Leo kuna mtu atavunja roho ya umasikini. Leo kuna mtu atarudia utajiri wake. Maana the Bible says alifanywa masiki. Can I talk to somebody here? Do you know 
It is okay to be born in a poor family. But it is an abomination before God to die poor. <laughs> Hello? It is okay. Kama umezaliwa kwa familia ambayo ni maskini. Lakini ni chukizo. It is an abomination. Hello? There are places they don't hear tongues. They hear money. They hear money. There are places that they don't hear prayers. They hear finances. Hello? As much as you are praying in your closet, but there are places you go, the way you appear, they receive you. Kuna mtu kitembea na ye, the way anaka, anaambiwa, we kakando, we we pita. Kwa sababu ya venya meapia. Na umasikini ni nafanya surazitu zinaka ambaya. Si tumeona we usi. You know what sauti sema ni nakataa. Angalia venye madhabahu ya umasikini nafanya watu. Nafanya watu. Which verse is that? Lamentation chapter 5. I need to finish this. Wow. And we pray. We pray. We pray. Lamentation chapter 5. Lamentation chapter 5. Remember, oh Lord, what has happened to us Look and see our disgrace. Umasikini itakwaibisha. Itakuletea ibu. I'm not talking and communicating to anybody here. Look and see our disgrace. Nina kutangazia. Mahali umewaya ibika. Mungu akukomboe leo. Mungu akwepushe na aibu. Inua sauti sema sita ibika tena. Yeah. Move on. Move on. Our inheritance has been turned over to aliens and our homes to foreigners. Madhabahu ya umasikin inafanya hata urithi yako your inheritance inachukuliwa na mtu mwingine anapewa mtu mwingine anapewa because of the altar of poverty urithi ni wako alafu inasema nyumba zetu our homes Kiswahili inasema nyumba zetu zimekuwa nyumba ya makafiri makafiri Sema kuna watu wanasemaga hiyo nyumba ni yangu lakini mwenye anakuja kuchukua rent ni mlevi Nyumba ni yako lakini mwenye kupewa rent ni mlevi <laughs> Tena anakuja kama amelewa anaanza kukuitia kwa gate Nina wawangeshi <laughs> nimetokea <laughs> Na iwe hujalipa miezi mbili utamuonea kwa gate akiongea Ah, ninatangaza urithi wako itabaki kuwa yako. Apiti you amen. Nasema kilicho chako kitabaki kuwa yako. Haita haitaponyoka katika mikono yako. Am I talking to somebody here? Move on verses 3. Umasikini nafanya we have become orphans and fatherless our mothers like widows. Umasikini imefanya wa mama wamebaki kama wajane. Move on. We must buy the water we drink. <laughs> Our wood can be had only at a price. You know, I don't know, Apostle. There is a there is a man of God in Western. In Western. In Western. Uh, one time I was preaching for him and I said, God. This is the life that I want. Because akanipeleka kwa boma yake na ako mashambani, ako mashambani. Kwa boma yake amekuza ame, amefuga nguruwe, amefuga bata, amefuga kuku, amefuga sungura, ako na njiwa, amefuga ngombe, mbuzi, kondoo, yani hizo zote ziko hapo. Uh, ukiingia huko ana 
kwa shamba yake mboga zote ambazo unaweza tafuta za kienyeji zote ziko kwa shamba ameziweka yani alafu zaidi ya hiyo huyu jamaa anatumia stima yake 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 anajitengenezea bio yani nini yake stima ni yake hiyo kinyesi ya wanyama yote plus yao inatengeneza umeme so atumi kunia mtu atumi stima ya mtu Kenya power haimuoni akitaka kukula nyama anakula nyama kutoka kwa zizi lake akitaka kukula mboga anakula mboga kutoka kwa shamba yake na kila siku anakula Kenya anataka na analala vizuri amejenga nyumba bedroom yake ameweka juu yani anataka lale karibu na Mungu ashuke asubuhi akutane na watu duniani ama atoke ndo somebody here Ah, uh, madhabahu ya umaskini ni mbaya. Hello. Baba. Ndugu mmoja nilikutana na yeye akiwa na kagari ka fulani nikamwambia afadhali hata uwe una gari. Maana hii ni umaskini. Hii kuna gari ambayo ni umaskini reloaded. Mana ako na gari ambayo wanaelewana na gari ya kwamba i carry you a little you push me a while sasa why do you i need you know so to say mana katao maskini kumwambia afadhali hii enda pereka kwa scrap ukae hauna gari. Ya. Bado tu utakuwa sawa. Tena utakuwa mzuri kuliko venye uko sahi. Maana Kenya unapea hii gari <laughs> ni mingi kuliko venye inakusaidia. I'm not talking to somebody here. Ah. Inua sauti sema nitaishi vizuri. Kama unaamini sema nitaishi vizuri. Last time nilikwambia I remember I said this eh, when I was here ya kwamba katika maisha life success in life is not only by merit but it is by mercy Success in life is not only by labor but it is by favor Success in life Kenya inahitaji it is the favor of God ambayo itakusaidia kumenyana na aina yoyote ya madhabahu ambayo inawakandamiza I'm not talking to somebody here Na kama kuna kitu do you know hata hii madhabahu madhabahu ambazo nimeongelelea mingi zao kuanzia juzi kuna madhabahu zingine utagonga ukiwa na pesa ukiwa na pesa utazigonga tu na zitakutesa alo sasa ugonjwa ikikuja si unaipea unaiambia come on ninakuwa ninaita jina la Mungu na ninakutibu sasa hauwezi shinda pesa na ushinde Mungu ukicombine forces ya Mungu na pesa si utaenda kuna watu wanakufa malaria kwa sababu wamekosa pesa ya kununua panado. Hello. Inua sauti sema my father. Ninakatana na umaskini. Hiyo kampuni itainuka. Hiyo biashara utasimamisha. Ama talking to somebody Maskini tafanya unapewa makazi zingine atazifai. Nafanyia watu kazi ambazo atazifai na wewe. Zifai. One time niliambia mke wangu wakati mmoja nikamwambia afadhali tulale. Lakini hii kazi hautafanya. God has blessed us. I said it is better we struggle our way out as we pray. Maana alikuwa anaenda kuoshea watu nguo, anapewa nguo zingine hata ifai apewe. Ah. Hello. Kamwambia kaa hapa Mungu atatusaidia. And God came our way. 
Lazima utoke cha lazima. And you have to make a decision. Another altar ambayo inatuadhiri ambayo inaperekana na madhabahu ya maskini it is the altar of stagnation. The altar of stagnation. Madhabahu ya kukwama kutoaendelea. Kutoaendelea. Wow. I need to finish. Madhabahu ya kutoaendelea. Stagnation. Always you come unapata kwamba unafika karibu na your success. Lakini haufaulu. Is madhabahu mbili au maskini na stagnation they are twin brothers and sisters zinatutesa kuna watu hapa wanaishi maisha ambayo sio yao maisha ambayo unaishi leo even you you know that is not your life you know for sure it is not your life 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 can you move to the next verse Next verse. Look at what the Bible says. Those who pursue us are at our heels. We are weary and find no rest. Kiswahili nasema wale wanao tutafuta wa uju ya shingo zetu wame tushika shingo unajaribu kuchomoka wana kuambia you are going nowhere unajaribu kuinuka wana kuambia you are going nowhere na atuna pumziko atuna pumziko I told you in the lunch hour mwenye analipu wa anafanya kazi yata kama ni ya kuandikwa analipu wa pesa mingi na anafanya kazi kidogo lakini mtu wa shida anafanya kazi mingi na analipwa pesa kidogo ah things ought to change tonight ya kwamba hata wewe unaweza kuwa mwajiri you can be a land owner not just a land owner a landlord and i told you last time there are only two lords and you need to choose one the lord god almighty you can never be him and the other one is the landlord so you need to own a land and there is no land lady you cannot lady the land you only lord the land si mungu apatie watu mashamba hapa na watu wajenge manyumba mazuri ninatangaza katika madhabahu haya si reverend awe na kazi aposto pamoja na mama na hawa wahubiri wawe na kazi ya kudedicate manyumba ah uh, may you receive it in the name of jesus yeah wa dedicate si hata tuwe na ma reverend pastors wawe na kazi ya ya kufanya graduation ya watoto wetu hapa maana kuna watoto they are very genius but masikini inafanya wasisome hello you know what i sema nimekataa umasikini i feel we need to pray and we need to deal with this spirit the altar rough poverty financial stagnation in our lives kuna watu walianza ma project hapa lakini kwa sababu ya madhabahu ambao tulitoka ndani ya umaskini project kama ni nyumba imekwama imekwama sikizi nyazi ilimea ilimea ndani ilimea watoto watu wakipitia hapo hapo ndio wanaendaka kujisaidia mpaka ukachukua rangi ya yellow na ya white unaandika hapo usikojoe hapa ukipatwa ni umasikini you know i was looking at a, when corona came wakati watu wanalia corona ndio wengine walikuwa wanajenga manyumba hello bishop one of the bishop friend of mine in nakuru wakati wa corona sasa zile watu wanalia ndio yeye anachomoa anachomoa V8 V8 yeye ndiye ananunua V8 na watu wanalia corona levels are levels are different <laughs> hello graces are different nani madhabao simama 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 kwa miguu yako simama kwa miguu yako 
Yes Mr Mwangi. Simama kwa miguu yako. I feel we need to pray. Now tomorrow I will take it on a higher level and show you how we can allow the altar of God to speak of our lives. Praise the Lord. Because I told you there are there is demonic altar and there is godly altar. And both of the altars is in anena. Na nimekuwa nikikuonyesha jinsi ambavyo zinanena. 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 Jinsi ambavyo zinanena. So, ni wewe kuamua kama kuna ile madhabahu ambayo imekuwa ikinena juu yako. You make a decision and you say from today. Look at this verse. Look at this verse. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. Thank you sir. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. Look at that verse. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. Wow. Kwenu ulijua hiyo ndio verse nilikuwa nataka kukwambia uangalie. Thank you. <laughs> Verses 5. Look at that. There is an evil I have seen under the sun. The sort of an error. This error has been brought by the altars that speaks of our lives. The sort of an error that arises from a ruler. I told you that the world is controlled from the altar is ruled from the altar next verse fools are put in many high positions <laughs> while the rich occupy low ones mtu ni pumbafu jinga ikoenda shule lakini wewe umegraduate na ndiye anakutawala move on I have seen slaves on horseback while princess go on foot like slaves lift up your hand and shout that is not my portion in Jesus name Unajua nimekuongelesha na upole maana ninataka hii neno ikuingie kuingie maana kama kuna kitu lazima tukatai ni umaskini I'm looking forward to those days that he parking itakuwa ndogo na to extend Look at your amen <laughs> Hello I'm looking forward to days ambayo unaweza kama we ni mfanyi biashara Mungu akubariki to level that you can be doing international business Nasafirisha vitu unaingiza my friend Hello It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. Ya kwamba ukitaka kusafiri sio lazima saa zote uendage na gari. Saa zingine pia unaweza enda ukiburuka. You know the first time niliingia ndani ya ndege Mungu alisababisha mtu afe. Sasa ilikuwa ni huyo jamaa safirishwe kutoka Nairobi mpaka Kisumu na ndege. Alafu mimi nikachaguliwa katikati ya watu watenda na mwili. <laughs> Juu ya umasikini. <laughs> ah, Nyo maskini ni mbaya. Alo. Maskini ni mbaya. I want us to pray. And we want to pray a very projectional prayer as we are rising against the spirit of poverty and stagnation. Maisha yako ianze kusonga mbele. Vitu zako zianze kuendelea. Wow. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Holy Spirit. Kuna watu hapa nyota yako ilibadilishwa tonight we restore back your star your star ah now listen listen 
Time is too short. Eh? But I want to challenge you. And I will be sharing on that tomorrow. I want to challenge you. For you, for the altar to be effective upon your life, we cannot speak about altar. At ways yongea kuhusu madhabau. Bila kukupea nafasi wewe kujishikanisha na madhabau. And njia ya kujishikanisha na madhabau. Maana, do you know, anytime when God releases a message, there is a specific assignment and there is a specific thing that God want to do. It might not be everyone, but it is for someone. Sunday, as we summarize and finish this, I will be receiving your sacrifices on this altar. Praise the name of Jesus. I will be receiving. So go and prepare yourself. Search your heart. Because where when do you have a job that you have to do? Hello? See when do you have a job? Unajua venye imekuangaisha na unajua jinsi ambavyo umespend wengine tumespend kwa magonjwa sasa there is an opportunity and I will show you that tomorrow for you to rise against that altar by sacrifice and Sunday we will be doing these scriptures Psalms chapter number 50 and verses 5 Psalm chapter number 50 and verses 5 this is what we will be doing on Sunday verses 5 gather to me uh -huh, King James King James King James King James gather my saints together unto me those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice Sacrifice is a propeller to your achievement. <sighs> oh, sasa my men zinaenda chini. Can I hear you saying amen? amen. Such your heart. And I feel to let you know that. But because I have a lot of time, I feel in my heart. I feel in my heart that tomorrow, tonight, tomorrow morning, afternoon and even uh, on Saturday, I'll be having a humble time. Uh, I want to pray with you and for you. So that when we come here on Sunday, we break the altars together. And this is how we are going to do it. This is how we are going to do it. I feel in my heart and the Lord led me. Ya kwamba, chukua karatasi na kalamu. Chukua karatasi na kalamu. Andika the altar that you are fighting. Now, listen to this instruction. Don't put your number anywhere. Are we together? Just write your name in the altars that you're fighting. That you need to break. Maana hii wiki ni ya kuvunja hizo madhabahu. So andika hiyo jina na zile madhabahu. Ambazo kama ni moja ni sawa. Kama ni mbili kuna wengine tunamenyana na madhabahu kama saba at once. Wengine mbili ones so andika this is what i'm breaking if it is the altar of health unatangaza ya kwamba i need to break the altar of sickness and diseases now explain aina ya ugonjwa ambayo imekuwa ikikutesa 